if I were to have any advice to give to young culinarians getting into the trade, I would say, love what you do. Hey Matt, come on in. My name is Michael Nagore. I am co-owner and butcher for Forbes Meat Company. My journey started about eight years ago. I was interested in getting into the culinary field and into working with food. I didn't know which direction I wanted to go to and I was um, being here in Tucson. We have the University of Arizona with a great college of agriculture. I uh, found out that they had a program that was a meat cutting program. I got involved with that and was very lucky. It was a 640 hour program upon completion. You were meat cutter certified um, when I finished that program. I was very fortunate they had an open position where I got hired on immediately, which was amazing because it is a USDA harvest and processing facility. So I was very fortunate to learn from a lot of very knowledgeable people who had been in the field for a long time. So I served as a butcher at the University of Arizona for probably seven years until I went on and started getting side gigs, working at the Rincon Market and Johnny Gibson's Downtown Market. And Johnny Gibson's is where I actually met Ben Forbes, who is the owner, operator, and who started Forbes Meat Company. And our relationship from there just kept growing and built into what Forbes Meat Company is today. And during my time at the university, because it is a harvest and processing facility, I learned how to do whole animal butchering for local farmers, which has always been uh, close to our heart at Forbes Meat Company to work with the local community and be able to bring them a quality product back from the animals that they raise and that they put their time and energy into. That was always important for us to be able to serve our community at Forbes Meat Company. And so learning how to process whole animals at the uni university transpires greatly into coming to the Forbes Meat Company because now we're able to do it here on our own instead of going through a processing facility. We are one of the very few butchering facilities in town that do whole animal butchering for the, the local community. We serve a wide range of people throughout our community from businesses to small families who raise animals on their own who want to be able to feed their family a quality product to also farms who are reselling to the public. So it, community, I grew up downtown here in Tucson, Arizona, and community has always been at the forefront of what we're about. If you come down to Tucson, businesses work with each other. It, it's two degrees of separation. A lot of people know each other. A lot of our business has been word of mouth, which has been great for us. Some of the reasons we here at Forbes have gotten into whole animal butchering and we enjoy it so much is because we're trying to bring quality products and steaks that you might not see at grocery stores. Different, uh, We sell hanger steaks, we sell terrace majors, we have bavette, we have different cuts that you wouldn't normally see at your chain grocery store and we're trying to bring them out to people to try some of these amazing mussels or, or steaks that you might not see other places. We work with many different restaurants and they all are, have a different styles going on and different products going on. So we work with multiple restaurants. Some restaurants uh, we provide sausage for, some restaurants we provide steaks for. Uh, we work directly with the chefs and the owners of these restaurants to give them a quality product and try to achieve something between what we're doing and what they want to get them something really nice to be able to give out to their uh, clients and that's, very important for us here at Forbes Meat Company to be able to keep everybody happy, especially, you know, our local community. So some of the stuff we have going on at Forbes Meat Company is we do a lot of aged products, a lot of uh, curing, a lot of um, sausages, different types of aging and fermentation on sausages as well. And so we are trying to achieve a product here which we're not used to seeing here in Tucson. A lot of old traditional style butchering, a lot of aging of meats which there's not really pe too many people here in Tucson who are familiar with aged meats and that's something we're bringing to the community and trying to introduce uh, to everybody as far as different qualities of meats, how long you might want to age them for what you're trying to achieve. Um, we, we are constantly evolving and trying new things here. We call this like the playground of meats. 
So we, are, we have a lot of fun. We, we, we try things. If they succeed, great. We'll try them again. If not, we'll eat them and chalk it up to, all right, maybe we won't do that again. You know, but uh, here at Forbes, we are trying to bring products and quality to Tucson that I'm not saying Tucson is lacking, but it's something a little different. And uh, in, in, our, in our case, different is not bad. And so we, we have a lot of fun with what we do here. If I were to have any advice to give to young culinarians getting into the trade, I would say love what you do. That most importantly, if you're passionate about it and you're curious about it, go into it. If it's, For me, why I love butchering so much and love what I do and wake up every morning and not feel like I'm going to work is um, I love what I do. And, and if you like what you do and you put that a good attitude and a good effort towards trying it, you know, and, and it's something you're interested, go in 100%. You know, don't touch your feet in the water, dive in. And uh, that's what I've done with butchering. I've dove in and ever since then I've been immersed in it and I love it. And constantly trying to learn. I think that's another very important thing is learn. Don't, you know, even if it's something you might have seen before, but it's a little different, learn it, try it, take heed to it and have fun. Great. I think that's one of the most important things, have fun. Just wanted to end with that. Yep. All right, Mikey, well, thank you so much for uh, coming on the channel and letting us interview you. Absolutely, thank you, Matt, appreciate it.